it's me back with another video i'm doing a video of like little disclaimer i do not know how to do makeup but anywho so i've got the questions in front of me i'm gonna answer them um so if you see any movement back there my dog is laying like on the pillow <laughs> guys how cute is my makeup bag it's adorable so first we're gonna start with primer um okay so the first question is favorite flowers um I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't really have a favorite flower. I just feel like flowers, they die too quickly. Like, it's like short lived almost. Like, what's your favorite food? Name some places that I may explore to. Um, my favorite food is pasta. Just not the cold pasta. Like, I don't really enjoy. I don't enjoy like salad pastas because pasta is not a salad. I don't call pasta salad because it's not. Um, I like hot creamy pasta. Um, and some places I've explored. Um, recently I went to um, Hermanas. I haven't been there since I was a little girl. We stayed at the, the Harbour House Hotel. It was so beautiful. And then also, I don't know if you hike, but Skeleton's Gorge. Beautiful, beautiful. It's it's a difficult hike. It's a little bit dangerous, but I like things that are dangerous. And then <laughs> Dylan's brother and um, his girlfriend invited us to this place upon island to go and climb. It was awesome. Definitely go check that out. It's in Pond Island. Um, it's called City Rock. Your goal in life and how were you always so happy? So my goal in life is to inspire people that's why like i want to become like a social media personality um or influencer because i really just want to like firstly be like authentic and to help people that need to be helped or just to be a good person as well like i really just want to be a good person um how are you always so happy I think maybe because I try not to let things bother me too much. Um, like, yes, obviously everyone gets upset and things upset you, of course. But I try not to let little things get to me. <laughs> I don't want any of it, I'm sorry. Favorite clothing brand? Um, so I'd like to say Gucci, but I can't afford Gucci. So at the moment, I'm like obsessed obsessed with um factory i i'm really like in love with the whole like streetwear thing favorite season winter winter is my favorite season i really just enjoy putting on like track pants or, or boots or thick socks i love winter fashion okay let's go to the next question how many children do you want boy or girl so i want three kids if I could choose, I would want a boy first, and then a girl, and then I want my third kid to be adopted. Um, I mean, it, the adoption doesn't have to go in that order, like I could adopt first and then have kids, but I really just do want to adopt. I love the idea of bringing someone into my home that never had the opportunity to have a home or be loved by anybody. What's your next big goal? Either to buy, or do for yourself so my next big goal is to <laughs> you to make fun of me my next big goal is to get my license <laughs> i can drive i just don't have a license um, if you could watch a singer live who would it be dead or alive i actually love to see ariana grande live um I watched Mariah Carey live I think in like 2018 and that was like phenomenal I know a lot of people don't like Mariah Carey but I love her 
I grew up in a coloured home and in coloured homes you love Mariah Carey <laughs> um, so I watched her must my dad took me because I love her so much and I enjoyed it so much because her voice is crazy um, and Ariana Grande's got a very similar style <laughs> okay Madison Beer's bomb her voice is beautiful favourite subject in school English Although I can't speak English very well, English, <laughs> you see, <laughs> English literature was my favorite. I love English literature, I love Shakespeare. Who made the first move? Where did you meet Dylan? Okay, so um, I'd like to say he made the first move. So to answer your second question, we used to go to the same school, but we never ever met in school. This was a long time ago. <laughs> um, and then I was at my friend's house one day, and then we like chatting, and we were like laughing the whole time and giggling and stuff. And then we were like back in the day when people had like house parties at their house, and you'd go and have a good time. And he invited me, and I was like, I'm not gonna come because <laughs> I was seeing this other guy, and it was, would have just been like an awkward thing. And then um, he had a second one, he invited me again. Like he sent out like, remember BBM you could send out like broadcast messages? He sent out a broadcast message and then he messaged me again. He's like, hey, are you going to come to this one? And I was like, no, I'm not. And then I was like, and then it was like school holidays because, yes, I was 16 at the time when I went to it. <laughs> um, it was like school holidays and myself and my friend had like nothing to do. So I was like, hey, let me just speak to them having freaking parties um, let's see if he wants to do something and then I messaged him and he was like yeah cool pull through you bring the girls I'll bring the guys that's literally what he said to me <laughs> and I was like yeah cool you got it and then we got there and then we hooked up and the rest is history what <laughs> series, series are you currently watching I just finished Brooklyn Nine-Nine <laughs> so hilarious I'm sure most of you have watched it but if you haven't please check it out it's so funny What's the most daring thing you've ever done? Maybe zipline or snorkeling? Maybe? Um, with stingrays? I don't know. I think ziplining. Cause like, if you fall, you die. <laughs> what is your number one go-to hairstyle when needing to look fresh but don't have much time? So my number one go-to hairstyle is literally the way my hair is at the moment um i love when my hair is straight but it's so much easier when my hair is um curly uh my new curl routine which i actually just discovered the other day um i was like hey let me try this this and this and it worked which is now like a ritual for me for my curly hair um but yeah thank you for watching my video thank you for submitting questions for me thank you for participating thank you for supporting me um my last video on youtube did so like phenomenally well because i had like so many people sharing and liking and i just really appreciate all of you and i appreciate everything that you guys have done for me um i'm sending you tons of love and if you haven't yet subscribed please click subscribe and please like this video because it does something to the youtube algorithm that i don't know but i know it's good so please like it and thanks for supporting love you bye so please